Times for the state medical examiner's office. The agency is under scrutiny, under investigation, and under fire. And now the credentials of one of its pathologists are being called into question. News 9's Gan Matthews has more. As News 9 reported Tuesday, the family of Chandra Turner is frustrated that her death has again been certified as a suicide, this time by state pathologist Dr. Chai Choi. The family's attorney is frustrated, too. Two pathologists, two medical examiners say this is a homicide, and we've got Dr. Choi, who's working in this unaccredited ME's office, who appears to not even be board certified in anatomic pathology, disagreeing with them and not in stymieing all law enforcement efforts. It seems that a lot of people are suddenly interested in Dr. Choi's qualifications, and that may become an issue in a murder trial now underway in Norman. 25-year-old Heather Trask is on trial for the first-degree murder of her infant daughter, Mackenzie. Dr. Choi ruled the child died from a blunt force injury to the head in 2006. Trask attorneys point to this profile from the Oklahoma Medical Board that lists Dr. Choi as being certified only in forensic pathology, not anatomical or clinical. The ME's office says that profile is inaccurate. This woman has done more than 8,000 autopsies in her 27-year career, and we don't want her credibility to be called into question at all. Ballard showed a certificate showing that Choi is also certified in clinical and anatomical pathology. Dr. Choi might want to bring those documents with her when she testifies at the Heather Trask trial later in the week. In Norman, Gan Matthews, News 9. Now the child's father, Jonathan Trask, has already been convicted for his part in the baby's murder, and he is currently serving a life sentence.